Not dissimilar to the incident in the first half where, where John Stones came across and was it a penalty, wasn't it a penalty with Zahar. And on this occasion, Zahar knows he can stay on his feet and he provides the ball that gets them the equaliser. So is John Stones a little bit more cautious? Well, it's interesting, thinking, well, isn't it? I can't, my line can't be cutting yeah. across Is he going to try and buy stay a penalty? in a straight line? Yeah. And he, maybe that's the difference of just not being able to get that little bit tight. The ball comes over. I mean... It's, it's actually got pace on, hasn't it? Yeah. Ferrandino's so just getting he's, trying to get across the front. Yeah, he's, he's got no chance. He's trying to get in front of uh, Conor Wickham to, to stop him from scoring. It hits him. It's ended. There's, no, there's nothing he can do about that. He's, he's at full pelt, going back towards his own goal, and it hits him on the ankle yeah. and, and goes in. Nothing you know, as a full-back, you know, the, but the I last think, minute of the game, the ball's not gone anywhere. They've not got comfortable possession. Why is he not yeah. seeing Zaha? Just stay there. Pep's just have a look at him right don't inside. Do you don't need to go. That's, the, the, that's ridiculous that he has to step forward. Do you think their defensive frailties this season are going to stop them from being successful in Europe as well? Even when the port comes back? Well, well you just see these decisions now. And, and Fernandinho is doing a, a wonderful job. He's, he's Obviously, he's not a central defender, but he's been the mainstay. He's been the one who can try and bring them together. Mendy's nowhere near performed. Uh, and then we've got Stones, Otamendi, when will Laporte come back? Cancelo's only played a couple of games. Walker's so, been out injured as well. Yeah, so you know, it's, the, it's a difficult one. They're going to have to do much better. They lost the goalkeeper and back. So that'll be the key area. Can they get Can they get a, a, another in? And they, they might be close on a central defender. And a Laporte but, to, to win the in. Champions League, they've got to be tighter defensively yeah. than they are. Man City have conceded more goals than Crystal Palace this season. So do they go and buy a central defender? If there's one there now, do you think, because well, the Champions League's there, would that make a difference if they could go and get a central the defender? The problem is they've got to find someone that is, a le- is available to play in the Champions League, you know, of, of that high enough quality. And, and I think that's, that's but, the problem, isn't it? Well, a good thing about the Champions League now is that the fact that you can take a, a player from another Champions League side yeah. and play them, can't you? Because, Starting, yeah, this season. Because it's now into the knockout stages yeah. and if they've played elsewhere in the group stages, it, it's OK. So, so they could buy any players played already in the Champions yes. League if they can but, actually but get, 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 get a player that's still in the Champions League that's going to want to come to Manchester City at this time. That's, sure. I totally agree that, with that, you. That's it, it, it's finding that player is going to be very... But no, defensive frailties... I don't, I don't think they can win the Champions League unless something changes well, defensively. Laporte comes back and he's right on top of his game. Zinchenko suddenly comes back, yeah. Walker some, they come back to the and then they might have a chance, but not with that defence at the moment. They need right. a bit of luck, wouldn't they, over the two legs?